Hey everyone, welcome to the third part of my collection videos and today we're covering the NES. As you can see I have a World of Nintendo cabinet and uh, this holds most of my NES games. As you can see it still has the light in it and in the bottom I have some boxes. But I'll cover those later. Let's start up front and open the door. Here we have the black box games. Uh, by the way these are all Paul and preferably Paul B, preferably code hole, so that means the Dutch version. So 10 yard fight, um, that one's actually Paul A because it doesn't have a Paul B version. A sealed duck hunt, picked that up without knowing it was sealed, so you can imagine it was a nice surprise. Some of the small box games, uh, we only had those in uh, in Europe, America doesn't have small box games. And those are the silver boxes. And some more small box stuff. Sorry I keep rolling the door around, but else the glass reflects too much. Then we're starting alphabetically. Um, I originally went for a full Paul B collection, but at some point I just stopped and thought I only want the good games or the rare games, so Many games have been sold since then. Battletoads and Battletoads uh, versus Double Dragon. Two of my favorite NES games. Bobble Bobble. Absolute top 10 for me. As you can see I have all my games in uh, plastic containers to prevent them from getting damaged, getting dusty and now you can uh, put them nicely together without uh, damaging each other when you pull one out. Double Dragon. Galaga. Very cool game. Used to have competitions with friends to see who could get the best score. Hudson Hawk. Um, many of these Ocean games released by Oceans are quite hard to find. They're not super rare, but they're definitely some of the most uncommon games out there. Lolo series. And then the Blue Bomber. Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, there's actually, these are two variants of Mega Man 1. Um, this one is without the hang tab. And this one is with the hang tab. Unpunched. And then over here we have Mega Man 5 and 6, which is of course NTSC because it didn't get a Paul release. There again two of those ocean games that are quite uncommon, Parasol Stars and Prince Valiant. Probotector, those are the European versions of um, Contra. Shadow Warriors 1 and 2, great games but impossible to beat, for me at least. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, also quite a tough one. That was it for this display. Then below we have a controller. Uh, three versions of the zapper. Uh, one of those um, orange zappers is with the mini box duck hunt. NES Max, NES Force Core, NES Advantage. My favorite little guy, the Rob. Uh, action set and uh, super set. So super set is with the Force Core. Just a normal NES set and the challenge set. It's with Mario 3 and the Family Fun Fitness. Then I have two more sets. The Power Set, which only got released in America, which has the Zapper and the Power Pad. And up there is the Deluxe Set with uh, Rob packed in. As you may have noticed, the games in here are cool, but they're not super rare because I have my other. NES games, the ones that are quite rare, 
I have them on this place somewhere. Let's go there. See, we already covered this. If you want to see what this is, be sure to check out my other collection videos. Up here we have Final Fantasy. It's also anti C, doesn't have a PAL release. This one is Chevalier du Zodiac, PAL only. Solomon's Key 2, Banana Prince, also PAL only. Mega Man 9, that's the press kit. Over there we have Arkanoid. And this is where it starts to get really interesting. Uh, Panic Restaurant, Mario's Missing, Euphoria, Swordmaster, Jetsons, Super Turk, and over here we have probably the worst game ever, but you've heard about that probably. Uh, Action 52, totally complete, so with all the leaflets, all the stickers. Little Samson, one of my favorite games on the NES. It's been hyped really bad, but it, it is it is a great game. Sort of a Mega Man knockoff. Then Hammering Harry, again Paul only. Puxley Scavenger Hunt. And this one probably looks familiar to most of you. Well I'm sorry to say this is the cheaper Paul version. Still not easy to find, especially not in this good condition, but by far not as expensive as the NTC version. Then Trolls in Crazy Land. And my favorite, and also a famous rare game, Rodland, which is actually a good game. Many rare games like stadium events, etc., are quite shitty, but Rodland is awesome. So, that was my NES collection. Be sure to check out the other videos. I'll be covering PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. Um, I already covered the SNES, etc. So, be sure to check them out. Goodbye.